The red cabbage, also known as the purple cabbage, is a delicious, healthy and robust vegetable to grow in your garden. Now, the cabbage is a vegetable that I highly recommend that you start from seeds indoors. The cabbage has a very long growing cycle or a growing season, so it's best if you start the seeds indoors and while it grows, you can buy some time, prepare your garden or use your garden for other vegetables by the time these cabbage seedlings grow into bigger plants. Now I'm keeping my cabbage seedlings in a greenhouse here and I've transplanted these into slightly bigger containers once they grow a little bit bigger and by doing this you again buy some time you have a lot of time before you can set out these cabbage plants in bigger containers or in gardens or raised beds now there are several types of containers you can use to grow cabbage this is one of the smallest containers you can use and although a cabbage will grow in this kind of a container i recommend you go for slightly bigger containers to get the best cabbage that you can grow now the potting mix that we're using here is the 511 potting mix if you haven't seen my video on this potting mix i highly recommend that you check it out it's a very nice potting mix that dries very quickly but grows some really good plants and I have been using this potting mix for a while and I have seen that it does a good job growing most vegetables. Now this is the kind of pot that I do recommend growing cabbage in. This is about a 7 gallon pot, 16 inches wide and can hold a lot of soil. And I have seen that this kind of a container helps produce the best uh, cabbage head that you can grow in your garden. So we are going to transplant this cabbage. Uh, and as you can see it's been about two months since we started uh, sowing these seeds and after two months is really the time where you can transplant this cabbage into a bigger container and once you've transplanted the cabbage into a bigger container make sure it's well watered and taken care of at least in the first few days to avoid transplant shock to the cabbage plant and once transplanted the cabbage grows pretty quickly this red acre cabbage is actually a prolific grower. As you can see here, one month after transplanting, the cabbage is showing pretty nice growth. And there you can see the cabbage is growing really well in the smaller container as well. However, towards the end of the video, you can see the difference in the size of the head that is harvested from the smaller containers versus that of the larger containers. Now red acre cabbage has similar nutritional requirements as the uh, regular green cabbage and I would recommend you to check out the video on growing green cabbage. I'll post a link of that video at the end of this video. And you can see here the head has started forming very well now. You can see how the head is being formed and then being covered by leaves. So it's May and it's harvest time. And we're going to be harvesting our biggest cabbage head from this 16 inch wide container that holds about 5 to 7 gallons of soil. And as you can see here, this is the most optimal container size for growing cabbage. It produced a really nice big head which we're going to harvest right now. And here you can see that's a pretty good sized cabbage head. Now when you're growing at home, you do not expect to grow extremely large heads because you're using mostly organic material. A little bit of inorganic fertilizers are okay, but you should be mostly using a lot of organic matter in your soil to get good cabbage. Now let's look at the other containers here. These are the smaller 5 gallon pots and although they are 5 gallon pots they hold a little bit less soil than the other bigger container that we just saw and let's look at how the cabbage head looks like as harvested from this container and as you can see much smaller 
So the container size does matter when you're growing cabbage and although it's best to grow cabbage in the ground, you can still grow them in containers as long as you're making sure that your container is quite big. This is another cabbage harvested from a similar sized container and again you can see that the head is a little smaller but even though you're growing smaller heads since you're growing them at home in your own garden you can expect to get the best quality cabbage. So there we have it. I know a lot of YouTubers here love to grow this cabbage variety. So let me know if you like growing this cabbage and how do you find it compared to the green cabbage. And I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.